Lights glow on the deck of a ship at dawn. A Coast Guard officer watches instruments on the bridge. Caption, St. Anthony, Newfoundland. We're aboard the Coast Guard ship, the Teleos, conducting a groundfish survey. Holly George. The data we gather from the ocean floor here are like puzzle pieces. A trawl net is pulled from the water. These can be combined with thousands of other pieces of data to form a bigger picture of the ocean's well-being. Workers lay out the net on deck. On this survey, we can begin putting this puzzle together by using a high-tech CTD device that's built onto the net itself. So we have a trawl-mounted CTD that we use for every set. So basically what we're looking for is three types of information from uh, this particular CTD. The conductivity, which uh, determines salinity of the water, and the temperature and the depth. So let's hope it's going to connect. CTD, conductivity, temperature, depth. Technology. Mm, when it works. <laughs> oh, that's why. Uh, just show me which one you're... Uh... I'm just going to spray the connection there, Roman, before we do it. So right now it's not doesn't want to download. So I'm going to give it a connection, a little spray, or it was missing. So this is the connection that we use in the computer room. So as you can see, there's a tiny bit of corrosion there now. I'm just going to give it a little clean and see if we can connect. Wayne sprays the plug with cleaner. Sometimes the process of trawling for data just requires a little elbow grease. He plugs it into the CTD. Once the neck comes up, the catch is brought below deck. This is the place where every trawl gets tabulated and more pieces of our puzzle are revealed. You better put on these, uh, this rubber gear because it does get pretty wet in there. Sounds good. <laughs> We're pulling on our hip waders and gloves, about to discover the wet lab in the belly of the boat. So this is our wet lab. This is where we do all our sampling. So when the catch comes in in the trawl, uh, the crew on, on deck, they dump the catch down into a hole. We open and close this and the catch comes out here. And then it goes on this conveyor belt. So we have our people on both sides sorting the catch. So they pick out different species and fill up those orange baskets. Fish flap in baskets on the floor. And what remains after the water washes away are new samples from the ocean floor. Like so many fresh, wriggling puzzle pieces, which are then dissected and labeled. This is a stomach of a cod. When it's back in the lab, they'll cut it open and see what this cod has been eating. So the tag lets you know which cod it came from. So how do you decide what is kept and what gets thrown back? Uh, well, basically the scientists who are in charge of the assessing that species, they'll give us a list of what they need from every survey. So they'll want a certain number of stomachs, a certain number of odalisks from each trip. Here in the wet lab, our focus has been on cod, as well as other species of interest to fisheries and conservation. But sometimes, you find a piece that doesn't quite fit. A lumpfish, a really, really big lumpfish. This is the biggest lumpfish I've ever seen. Our knowledge of the ocean is a puzzle we're continuously putting together. Every species is a valuable piece of data that can be added to the bigger picture. Okay, so after that's all said and done, what other questions are we left with? There's always interesting questions about all species. I mean, most of our questions relate to the, you know, the temperature and the ecosystem and the predator-prey relationships, which we feel that we're slowly learning uh, more about, but we still don't have all the answers on how all these things interact together. A Canadian flag flaps in the wind at the stern of the ship. Holly gazes out over the water. Coming on the boat has been a really, really great experience for me, whereas every single thing that I've ever read or I've ever studied is because of trawls like this and trips like this where you actually get that data and then it goes to the people who are learning it. I think that's really, really cool. The sky glows orange through the windows of the bridge.